Hello movie lovers, welcome to another wonderful top class episode of Movie Cuts. My name is Onome and today I am not a co-host, I'm the main host. I'm the man behind the camera right now. In front of the camera, not behind the camera. Anyways, Movie Cuts is the one and only show where we give you the very best movie critic. You know, we break it down, we cut it, we dissect, we, you know, everything that needs to be done. We talk about the story, the CGI, everything that has to do with movies. And today with me, I'm very excited, not just because I'm hosting. I'm so excited about that. I have a special guest with us, very special guest with us. In fact, it has, we've never brought his type to the, to the studio before. So um, after this break, I'll introduce him to you. So right about now, I will be introducing our very, very fantastic guest in the house today. You know, he's a singer, he's a songwriter, and a lovely movie enthusiast. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together. Even if you, even though I can't see when you put your hands together. <laughs> Make welcome the one, the only, Jason Jane. Hey. Yeah, that's the guy he sings. Oh, thank you, Oname, for having me on the show. Thank, thank you, you very much. much. Yeah. So today, we're going to be talking about animations. Mm -hmm. So, um, what, does, what do animations mean to you, generally? Yeah. Animations are lovely. They are, I think they are God's gift to humanity <laughs> because um, they help you um, escape the reality mm. of the world, like real life. Oh, but that's deep. So. <laughs> well, me, I, I, I love animations because they are um, the, I wouldn't say the only movie genre, but the number one movie gen genre type that the entire family can go out to watch. Yeah. So animations, they bring families together. Yeah. You guys, so if you are, call your your siblings, your parents and everybody because we're talking about animation, so they sit down and watch as a family. But there is a global debate as to which is better, whether anime or animation. I will choose anime. There's an... Um, some people... Uh, you know, Did you just choose anime? Yeah, anime. I'm heartbroken right now. Yeah. I'm going to fight you after the show. <laughs> I will really fight you after the show. But, but why anime? Okay, anime is... Uh, the fighting, uh, so never, uh, most of them are yeah, yeah. You know, this Japanese. Uh, yeah, it's Japanese, so the language, the language, it's a very very strong language. I, like, I love the language. The language is like fight. It's very very strong. Okay, anyways, let's let's get into the business of the day. So, um, what's your favorite animated movie? Um, that would be um Lego Movie Shazam. Lego. Gather all the food for the master. I got this. What do you think generally about the storyline and how they did everything together for Okay, Lego Shazam? It was quite different from the live action movie. Yeah, I was even going to ask that, but okay, go on, go on. Well, he was already a hero. Already. Yeah, he had his powers so he had from his the powers beginning. And, yeah. yeah, and then he later met up with the Justice League. Um, he had his own, um, like, he was quite easy going, like. It was, it was childish. And and okay, it was it was happy. Let me happy. use that word. Remember Lego the beginning where um, he wanted to stop a, a, a robbery. Yeah, that's, yeah. That's, a, that's a polite superhero. It was crazy. Yeah. Nobody would do that in real life. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, but, but normally Shazam is um, it's one um, like he's a child. Happy. He's a child too. Yeah. 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 Children are happy. Not as dark yeah. as Batman. Go time, go time. Ah no, you you can't even compare their childhood. But then again, if you look at the background story of Shazam, there is a little bit of similarity Wait. between his um, childhood and that of Batman. They're both orphans, yeah? Yes. And, okay. One had to watch his parents die. The other didn't. Think, didn't so. I see why one is dark. Mm -hmm. So you get it now. And he wears a dark costume too. And his parents with darkness everywhere. <laughs> but that's <laughs> the misery. <laughs> But then back to the story, let's not digress too much. What, 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 what did you think? What did you enjoy the most about it? Oh, like I said, the comedy. Only? Yeah, the comedy was everything. Okay, um, the fact that um, the full, like, Justice League scored right yeah. there. Oh, okay, okay. For me, it was the fact that they turned all of them to children. I didn't see that coming. On a Okay, he had, um, I didn't see that. Mr. Mind had to turn them to children so to be able to control, control them. to control their mind. And that movie actually had. What do you What do you think about the villains? Let's let's. Mind was just ridiculous. He was. The fact that they had to um, gather food for him. 
You now know the irony of it all. Yeah. Mr. Mind was actually being mind controlled. The guy whose power is to control minds was being mind controlled. They had like a, a whole triangle situation. Um, <laughs> I think um, Black Adam was controlling Mr. Mind. Mr. Mind mm -hmm. was controlling the league. That kind of thing. But then, do you think there are any similarities between Black Adam and Mr. Mind? Look at it in terms of what they wanted, in terms of their desire. Uh, I, I, uh, Mr. Mind, I mean, if his abilities are, are mind control, he wants to control other people. Mm -hmm. Black Adam, why he lost his, um, his, um, yeah. his um, position, position as, as a champion. champion was because he wanted to control others. Mm -hmm. So they are definitely okay, similar. True, true, true. Yeah, so true. He was just control for them. But then I, I, I feel that Black Adam had a purpose. What this other guy didn't have purpose. It's a mind. Yeah, that guy was wanted to eat. Champion. He just wanted to eat and he didn't know why he was no, no. eating anyhow. You get, and then Black Adam was using him to get fat enough and big enough to, so that when he comes to the other realm, yeah. it would break his prison. Yeah. And I think that was really, really, really genius. Beyond this comedy and everything, what would you rate the movie? I'll give it a seven. Seven. I'll rate it 7.256. Ah. The 0.256 is for you know who. I After know, the break, I'll tell you who it's for. <laughs> Welcome back to Movie Cuts. And if you're just joining us, you've missed, but you've still not missed that much. We just talked about Lego um, movie, the Sh Lego Shazam movie, the Shazam Lego movie. You get the point. Go and see the movie. Anyways, now um, moving to favorite animation of the 21st century. Let's say you were to make a list. Mm -hmm. Which animated movies would make it to the list? I think everyone, they already know the movie that means wait, wait. If it's what I'm thinking, yeah. Is what the Yoruba no, is what the outsiders call Ogi. Yeah. What it, what do the outsiders call Ogi? I don't know, but I know it's Coco. It's Coco. <laughs> <laughs> it's Coco. The Coco 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 is one of like it's musical. Yeah, it was. A, he had oh, like, yeah, musician. Okay, yeah, I get the connection. He had, like, he had like he had like some like this emotional thing. Yeah. Like oh, they got yeah. to see their dead loved ones. That kind of thing. I, I, I like what they did, and then um, those guys and they are smart too. And then it twist the um, his grand so, suppose um, grandpa was the, the the and then like. His real grandpa was, was the guy that was yeah. listening more through. I like that. So he, he got to actually spend time with his with his grandpa and, and everything. But then you people that did Coco, you, you guys tried, man. Yeah. Your marketing team. Do you know that when Coco came out? Why am I saying Coco? When Coco came out, there were there was no competition. Yeah. So he was in the cinemas for a long period of time. He made a lot of money. And children loved it. So people had to go. I keep watching it over mm -hmm. and over and over again. Okay, now, but for, for reals now, the tradition, the ritual of yeah. um, going to visit the dead and all, mm. it's something they actually do in modern day. Yeah, they are dead, yeah. It's a tradition that has been there yeah. continuously. And Coco was able Coco was able to bring that out to the world. Yeah. What do you think about a tradition like that? Do you think it's cool? It's because cool. some people will tell you that. Um, the dead is gone, the dead is gone. Nothing can be done about it. Uh, uh, I think that's their tradition. Like, you should respect it. Okay. Yeah. Respect the dead people. Yeah. Anyways, next one. What's the next? Ah, it's more now. Why Moana? Because oh, because of the songs too. The songs too. Because of the songs, yeah. They had fantastic songs. Really fantastic songs. And I think one of the songwriters happens to be Lin Manuel Miranda. Hamilton, right? Yeah, the guy that did Hamilton. Fantastic, fantastic work. What's your favorite song there? Um, the one you're saying? Sing it. Eh? Sing the first 30 seconds. Da -na 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 -na. You're mm -hmm. welcome. If you don't get it, I'll eat your popcorn. Okay, sure. What? what? Sure. I will not tell you. <laughs> I will tell you. I didn't even have no, I can't remember the first line. Who sang it? Who sang it? Oh, Dwayne Johnson, no. 
Well, it's okay to yeah. sorry. Well, it's okay, okay to say you're welcome. welcome. It's okay, it's okay, you're welcome. I'm just an ordinary demigod. What did they say after that one? Uh, was praying to himself for him. That's, <laughs> so that, that mean, he has I mean, made this one. He made them. He made them the sun. He made the tree swing. I don't know what you're thinking. <laughs> and, then, and, and then and then they wrapped. They wrapped on it. Yeah. I, I really feel um, talking about the character of Maui. Mm -hmm. When Johnson did a fantastic job, not just in acting, but in singing and in rapping. Yeah. That guy keeps surprising me. Yeah. He does comic. He does everything. And for Moana. He actually performed these songs. He didn't lip sync or anything. So when Johnson, shout out to you from me. Yeah. What would you rate the songs in all? The songs out of ten. The lyric was top notch. Okay. Yeah, and the lyrics. Oh, you know, yeah. Songs were great. This one, um, this other song that um, the Moana girl sang. What to move? No, it was one like that. Which, which part did they sing? I think the time she was leaving. I don't, know. Oh I don't forget that movie, Sha. But Sha, the songs there, I read it like, um, I read it like um, nine. Oh, cool. That's a really good one. Okay, now, um, it's funny that both Coco and Moana have to do with um, culture. Yeah. Uh, while um, Coco is Mexican, I know um, Moana is um, Polynesian, and some people will tell you that some of those things that happened were pretty accurate. Although when the movie came out, the natives of the Polynesian people were, um, they, they, had, they, raised, they raised their brows, because some of the things they did wasn't properly done. You know about and that. You, and you know, people, people usually say, um, Americans are trying to, you know, Appropriate. get everybody's culture yeah. and then put their own in it. Mm -hmm. I think that's what what got them mm -hmm. somehow, somehow. Yeah. But I like the fact that they were able to um, really, really tap into the culture of the Polynesian people, the idea of the coconut, of them planting coconut and, you know, and then fishing mm -hmm. and everything. It was really fantastic. Okay, right now you have said two. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to say my own. And me, I'm more into the action, not music. So my favorite animation, um, The Incredibles, that's the first one. Mr. Incredible, we need your help. Showtime. A man of war, <laughs> I guess. In Daboski. Mm. Maybe you know, also, man. I, mean, I like, I like um, the, the Incredibles was incredible. So. Because yeah. it's incredible. What do you, what, what do you think about part two though? Well, um, it was okay. okay. But part one was better, way better. And you guys made us wait 14 years. And at the end of the day, I feel like they, they, they should have made um, the, the child older. Like, oh, mad. Oh, true, true. Yeah. True. But then, I think they continued from the timeline where they where they um, finished the first part. You know, at the end of The Incredibles one, um, one guy came up with Same a drill. drilling machine. Okay, no, sorry, that guy, um, the mo, whatever, whatever. That looks like a mouse. Yeah. Uh -huh. He came with. They picked up the part two from there. Yeah. So the timeline didn't change. The timeline in real life changed, but the timeline in the movie didn't change. That's why I think they maintained. Well, I hope they bring, bring it back sooner than um, last time. Well, they made mo a lot of money from part one and part two, so they may. They may or may should not bring it back and they should skip the timeline. But do you like the Incredibles? I love it. What's your favorite? Who, who is your favorite hero? Whose power would you have? Dash. Why or Dash? Jack is, Jack. It, is it because. It, okay. Dash or Jack Jack or Frozen? No, you choose one. Dash. I think it's Dash. That's what my mind is saying. Jack you Jack. Do you like to dash things up? No, I don't like to dash. You like to dash away from, from, from <laughs> no places. Problems. You want to run away. You want to be able to outrun your problems. That's why you chose the power of that. <laughs> Who won't? Yeah. I think I, I think I would choose Jack Jack because he has more tool power. Of course, I, Jack I, Jack. But does the theory do? Does the theory do that? Um, well, when he gets older, that he would have one power. Oh my mind. All these are YouTube theories, but mm. well, you know why I would choose Jack Jack. He had the power of Wonder Woman, Thor, the Flash. Jim Gray, 
Wait, it didn't have the power of the flash. Well, that's, yeah, that's, that's human not true. touch. I take human that back. Touch, human, human touch. In fact, it had the power of the entire Hulk, Fantastic. Why Hulk? Like, he had some kind of Hulk like power. Well, yeah, when he could turn to the. Great. And it turns to metal. Man. Metal too. It turns to metal. Yeah. Imagine. It can uh, pass through uh, objects. So. Do you think it was it overpowered? Overpowered, like Martian, Martian Manhunter. <laughs> like, overpowered. Like. So, what's your favorite moments in, in, in the movie? Huh? I remember that movie. It was when um, he was dealing with his father now. Wait, oh no! But let's no, move. Okay, that, okay, that was um, that was um, kind of like um, spin off um, Jack Jack attack. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah, that that was no. It wasn't in the movie. My favorite part was where he fought that raccoon. <laughs> I remember that one. But why did it? Why 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 raccoon? Do you raccoon, get? Raccoons look like robbers. Like Me, I thought they were trying. Their Max and their blue. Me, I thought they were trying to shade Marvel, or Guardians of the Galaxy. No, the raccoons look like Marvel. <laughs> they, they, they are prepared for it. So, how would you rate it? I rate the part two, or part one, overall. Okay, part one, first time. Part one was man. I watched that thing like over hundred times wow. back then. So, how would you so rate it? Give it a ten, sorry. Nice, nice. My movie ten, good. Uh -huh. Drake, can you see it? So, this part two. Part two. Well, we did, we did, we did, we waited that long for it. Yeah, and the and anticipation was off the roof, bro. So, I think it kind of brought it down for me. So, I'll say eight, eight. seven, seven five, five, to eight. Five to eight. Okay, now mine, another favorite of mine, in fact, this one, if I don't mention it, eh? Kung Fu Panda. Do you know why they made that movie? Right. I heard um, this guy was doing a tour, designer was doing a tour, um, and then he got into DreamWorks. Mm -hmm. And they were like, oh, this guy did. No, no. This is the guy that sang Panda. Yeah. We should I do a did, movie I about pandas. That. Wait, no, no, no. no. <laughs> came to it's me. a lie. I'm not <laughs> <laughs> it's a lie. Please, it's not because of any design. <laughs> It's just a coincidence that designer sang Panda. Like, Kamala has been like, there, like, before the designer like, even blew, 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 My favorite part of Kung Fu Panda was um, the third one. Yeah. You know, when he went to, when he went to the, his hometown, I saw all of them. Yeah. You know the guy, naturally, is lazy. So when they saw him from afar, they were all screaming. Mm. And then they started running towards him, and everybody paused. Mm. Suddenly, they decided to rest for a few seconds. Mm -hmm. And then they picked up and it was it was it was cool. Really it, panda, it, was eh? cool. it was cool. It was cool. And then the old fighting and all yeah, Jack well, Black did a great job. Do you know Jackie Chan was in that movie? Who did it was the monkey. So you asked me the monkey or the old. I'm telling you. Like, now you know. You heard it first from movie court. And then the bad guy too. Like it was actually a bad guy. And he yeah. tested he tested um Poe. Beyond his limits. Who is the bad guy? That guy. Or Scar from the Lion King. Ah! Almost Scar, almost Scar, anytime, any day, Scar. <laughs> but this guy, too, why, why I felt it was the big bad that people, the Thanos of Avengers, and he was like that because they had, they had been building up to it. The guy had defeated the Grand Grandmaster. Yeah, like he, had defeated e he had a master plan, defeated everybody, and Paul had to fight him. And he had to unlock his inner dragon. And that part was epic. It was like really, really epic. When he was in the spirit realm, yeah. and he was like, "Do yeah, you see what I'm doing?" And after it was done, he just started joking about it. Yeah. <laughs> it, it was really funny. It was really funny. It was really funny. Anyways, we're going on a short break, and when we come back, we'll be telling you the best animation movies to watch out for. Don't go nowhere. Welcome back to the show. Ah, if you are just joining us, hey, yeah, uh, you have missed small, but there's still something you can still take home from everything. Okay, now, um, which movie, which animation, animated movie are you looking forward to? I think it's um, Minions. And the Rise is blue, right? Yeah, yeah. You guys, man. That's what they come up with this time, yeah. Why, what, why, what are you looking forward to the most? I mean, they've done the Speak Able Me 1, 2, 3. They did the spin-off for Minions. And it was really, all the movies have been a huge success. Right. Do you think they will jinx it? 
Rise of Gru will be um, his origin story, right? His origin story, so, yes. Let's see what they do. What movie are you looking out for? Ah, um, uh, Hotel Transylvania. Oh. Here's to Hotel Transylvania! Johnny works so hard to make this extra special. By the way, they're doing a fourth installment of the franchise. I hope that English is what do, you, what do you think about the part three though? I liked it though. I liked it. I liked the fact that um, they used some, something so trivial. They had been building, building it up to this big guy that would destroy monsters and blah, 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 blah. And they got the scroll and everything. And I thought by the time they blow the on one, something would just happen. And I saw a music piece and the master playing the, the piano. And I'm like, wow, funny. You get, and then the, the dance off. Yeah. Oh, Macarita, Macarita, Macarita. Oh, Macarita. I remember the movie. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I remember it. I loved it that much. I really loved it. And I, I think this fourth one, I have no idea what they want to do because personally, uh, you will just end it. Don't make it a trilogy. Don't make it become fast. So we will not be furious with you people. I think I think you should skip the time timeline again. You should skip the timeline. I know. I don't get. Like oh okay. He's, he's oh oh. Now. I think I know what they might develop on. Is the grandchild. Yeah. 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 It would grow up, and you know he has a love. There's a love interest between yeah. the wolf, him uh, and the, the wolf, wolf girl. Yeah. So well, we are all looking forward to it. You guys just don't mess things up for us. Man, thank you. Thank you for coming for the show to, to in for. Thank you for coming to the show, whatever proposition we use. <laughs> it was an honor to have you here. Did you thank have you fun? Very much. I had fun, definitely. Did I win you in the argument? Did we, we didn't yeah, argue? Yeah. You see, if it was Drake, yeah, we would have argued like 20 <laughs> times. You see that this is a cool, calm, collected man. Again, okay, you're too yeah. much. All right, people, do not forget to follow us on all our social media platforms and hit the subscribe button it will not cost you anything if you don't subscribe spider will show up and eat you in your dream uh -huh. and that's it for, for 600 years <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh i will come out here <laughs> just now <laughs> anyways thank you very much for staying with us till the very end of it bye that was your bye so intense i don't know <laughs>